Hello students, today we are going to talk about Cushing syndrome. This is a disease related to endocrine system. This is a disorder of endocrine system which causes increase the value of cortisol in the blood. So Cushing syndrome is a To discuss, Cushing syndrome is a disorder of endocrine system which cause increase the value of cortisol in the blood. So listen carefully, CRH corticotropic releasing hormones create from the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is a, not a gland, is a part of brain, just it, hypothalamus is a part of brain. But it's three different secretions and sent to the pituitary gland to secrete different hormones at the different time. So at this time, in this condition, hypothalamus secrete CRH and corticotropic releasing hormone and sent to the pituitary gland. CRH come to the pituitary gland and stimulate the pituitary gland to secrete a hormone called adenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. Adenocorticotropic hormone. This adenocorticotropic hormones come to the cortex region of adrenal gland. Cortex region of adrenal gland and stimulate the adrenal gland to secrete a hormone called cortisol. So in this way, cortisol secrete in the blood. First. Hypothalamus secrete CRH and sent to the pituitary gland and stimulate the pituitary gland to secrete a hormone called ACTH and this ACTH come to the adrenal gland and stimulate the adrenal gland to secrete a hormone called cortisol. So if there is a problem in the hypothalamus, so excessive amount of CRH secrete from the hypothalamus. So when excessive amount of CRH secrete from the hypothalamus, so excessive amount of CRH come to the pituitary gland and stimulate the pituitary gland to secrete ACTH. So also in very large amount of ACTH secrete from the pituitary gland. So when excessive amount of ACTH secrete from the pituitary gland, so this ACTH come to the adrenal gland, cortex region of adrenal gland and stimulate the adrenal gland to secrete a hormone called cortisol. So cortisol also secrete an excessive amount. So if there is uh, CRH is normal, but there is a problem in the pituitary gland, any tumor and, or an, any other problem in the pituitary gland, so also pituitary gland secrete in very large amount ACTH. So when in very large amount ACTH is secrete from the pituitary gland and this ACTH come to the cortex region, region and stimulate, stimulate the cortex in very large amount cortisol secrete from the adrenal gland. But if hypothalamus is normal, pituitary gland also normal, but there is a problem in the adrenal gland, so also may level of cortisol increase in the blood. And very large amount of cortisol is created from the adrenal gland. So students, there are two types of corticoids. First is mineral corticoids. Function of mineral corticoid is to maintain sodium and electrolyte balance in the blood in the body. And second is glucocorticoids. So glucocorticoids work with our immune system and also help to maintain the value of glucose in the body. Now, what are the etiology factors of Cushing syndrome? <clears throat> Students, excessive secretion of CRH, corticotropic releasing hormone from the hypothalamus cause Cushing syndrome, we discussed previously. So first is excessive secretion of CRH and second is tumor in the pituitary glands. If any person have a tumor in the pituitary glands, so because pituitary glands secretes ACTH, adenocorticotropic hormone, which helpful in the secretion of cortisol from the adrenal gland. So it also causes 
Cushing syndrome. And the third is excessive intake of corticoids artificially. If any person take corticoids in the form of medication orally or an injective form, so it also causes Cushing syndrome. Excessive intake of corticoids artificially in the form of medication or any other form, if we take corticoids artificially, it also causes Cushing syndrome.